I'm Steve McWhorter, and this is my testimony. I was raised an evangelist son, but the guy that I saw behind a pulpit and the one that I saw behind closed doors were not the same. So even at a young age, I decided if God's real, he's not good, and I don't want anything to do with this Jesus guy. Around 13, I started rebelling heavily. It was you know, smoking, drinking, marijuana, stuff like that. By the time I'm 15, it's cocaine, pills, I'm selling drugs. When I turned 17, I became a full out crystal meth addict and was using nearly every day for around six years. I was the guy who hated Christianity, would like cuss you out or knock you out if you mentioned the name Jesus around me. It was crazy. Fast forward, it's three o'clock in the morning. I'm in this house full of musicians and drugs and it's just one big cliche. Literally have drugs on the side table next to me. It is seemingly the most improbable place for someone to get saved, but it's the kindness of God to meet a wounded pastor's kid in a place like this. We begin to have this internal dialogue that went something like this. Stephen, I'm real and I'm good and I have a purpose for your life. And I just remember being like, God, I wanna give you my life. I wanna quit all this addiction, all this darkness, all this blech that I've known for so long. God, I want to, but I can't. And in that moment, the Holy Spirit spoke something into me that changed me for the rest of my life. He said, Stephen, you won't do it. I'll do it. I believed him like I believe I'm breathing air right now. And I fell to my knees that night in that room and I gave my life to Jesus. I went from addiction to redemption because God is real. And I literally quit everything overnight. Some people hear that and they go, you can't say that. It doesn't work like that. You'll have to take it up with Jesus when you get to heaven. <laughs> but here's the thing. When you read the Gospels, Jesus never healed anyone the same way twice because every story has a purpose. If it takes three times and you fall at his feet, that testimony is going to change someone else's life. Who would have ever thought that God would take what I thought would mark my life with shame <laughs> and mark my life with his glory? But it gets even better. The Lord ended up healing my relationship and healing my father. And my dad ended up baptizing me and my wife, performing our wedding ceremony. When God redeems you, when he saves someone, it's like a pebble in the ocean that ripples out and becomes a tsunami of redemption. In Hebrew, the word testimony literally means do it again story. When you tell yours, it's like God saying, I want to do it again. And with the person hearing, he's saying, I want to do it again with you.